with the most use of natural daylight as well. South light was facing the front of the garden, which is quite the opposite to normal houses. So we didn't want to build a big extension, which was facing north. So that's where we decided to actually keep the existing footprint of the house. The building energy rating of the house was a G, which is the worst possible. So we decided to aim for the highest level and bring the rating up to an A. This was built in the 60s and um, it had no insulation whatsoever, none in the floor, none cavity or in the roof, which is the worst possible scenario. And the windows were single glazed as well. And there were two chimneys which had four fireplaces in the house. So that means you lose a lot of heat through the actual chimneys themselves. With such a bad energy rating, I mean, it's compulsory to have one before you sell a house. And the worst your rating is, the less money you get for the property itself. The main aim was to put very thick external insulation. So it was like wrapping the whole house in a big woolen jersey. We put 100 mil insulation externally and pump the cavity with insulation as well. And put 150 mil insulation within the floors and then put a hardwood timber floor on top of that. So that um, prevented any drafts coming from under the ground. We tried to retain the, all the existing character of the house, but we replaced all the glazing with triple glazing, all the windows. So it's very super insulated. It's got to do with the surface temperature of the glass inside. Where most double glazing, the, the surface temperature is r roughly about 16 to 17 degrees, but it's, that's much slightly higher with a triple glazed window. So you do feel the difference, definitely. You could save up to between 60 and 80 percent of the heating bill. They also have the best possible BER rating, which means the value of the property is much higher. Reduce your amount of fossil fuels is what it's all about. Minimum of 100 mil in external insulation fitted throughout on the external envelope could save in total of 25% reduction in their energy bills. And um, those solar panels warm up all the, the hot water of the house, change that to, to a 90% efficient boiler where there's vast amounts of savings in that. Just make it work to its optimum level.